What is good, Neo family? It's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, I'm going to be talking about the one and only Neo stock, what you should be looking after for the future. I'm also going to break down what you should be watching for for Neo based off what the market is about to do and why this could likely actually help Neo push to the upside, especially given the price action that we saw today. Now, before I break anything down about Neo, before I answer the question, is Neo about to explode? Are we about to see Neo make some nice, nice, nice moves? I'm going to have to break down a couple of things before starting. Firstly, I'm not a financial planner. Take none of this as financial advice whatsoever. And also, if you guys can, please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this. It not only benefits me, it benefits the entire Neo community as a whole. And the last things, if you guys can, please check out the Weeble link down below and into the description. If you sign up for Weeble, the link down below and deposit any amount of money into the account, you're guaranteed up to 12 free stocks, each worth up to $2,000. And the best part is any could be a free Neo share. It's a limited time offer. The offer ends in just one day so check it out before they run out with that out of the way let's get on with the video neo is up 1.94 percent for the day starting to show some signs of a nice bounce i want to break down what i mentioned yesterday so going into my video from yesterday i mentioned that the market is going to dictate how neo moves and i talked about three possibilities on spy we either see this thing bounce from the low from yesterday and it starts pushing up or it comes down a little lower and then bounces right and we ended up actually bouncing immediately forming an inverse head and shoulders like formation maybe not perfectly but it is pretty close and this is starting to resemble in my opinion a pretty nice setup especially because spy broke the high of yesterday it actually broke above the gap resistance right here which is a bullish signal now, if we continue pushing, I would expect SPY to start filling this gap. And I believe by next week, we're going to see another bullish continuation. But as I mentioned in my previous videos, okay, even if we get that bullish continuation, which I believe we will, I do not expect this to last long. I expect the market to actually tank once we start 2023. All right. So I want to, I want to be very clear about that. You have to be prepared for that. What does all of this mean for Neo? Let's first look at some data. The put to call ratio is still relatively high for Friday, 1.93. That's just one small indication of the market makers being incentivized to push the markets up. Max Payne's at 382. So we could have a pretty sideways day tomorrow. And then remember, the market's going to be closed on Monday. All right. In commemorance of the new year, the market's going to be closed on Monday. The market will reopen on Tuesday. And I think for the first week of January, there is some potential for us to push up just like how we did last year or up by last year. I mean, in 2022, it's going to be last year pretty soon. And then finally, we don't have too much data coming out for Friday. I don't expect too much. What else is interesting is looking at NEO. This thing was underperforming compared to the market, but this is starting to see a bounce in the price pairs ratio. Pretty decent sign right there. We're also getting a hold rating from many analysts known as China Renaissance. Once again, they're saying hold on to your NEO shares. This thing has so much potential. Once again, a good sign. And on top of that, NEO is green about 53% of the time on Fridays. So pretty decent sign. Finally, the short interest did spike up a little bit. It is still going to be relatively low, but I do expect it to start pushing up later on. So please be very aware of this. Now on Neo's Twitter page, I want to just remind everyone, we have a very, very big day ahead of us. Okay. On December 31st, I would say maybe by like 1st or 2nd of January, the big data is coming out. Neo's deliveries report. Could Neo meet the new expectations? Could we see Neo hit about 39,000 deliveries for Q4? Could Neo do it? We'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see if Neo can meet these expectations, if Neo could really power through. Because if they do, it could be very bullish news for the stock price. If not, it's not going to be the best of news. Now, we also want to talk about the fact that Neo has these new models. This is the ES8, very, very luxurious looking. SUV, it's a six seater, very, very nice. This is just another reason why I'm very bullish on Neo. New technologies, new innovations, and they never ever give up. So I'm, I'm very, very bullish long term, guys. But for the short term, this is what I'm expecting from the share price. All right. So on SPY, looking at the daily, please remember this. 
there's something very important I need to talk to everyone about. That is, when you look at the... <coughs> excuse me, sorry guys. When you look at SPIs, let me see. It's moving averages, not the EMAs. The moving averages right here, you will notice something very interesting. I'm looking at the daily setup, right? And what's interesting about it is, check, it, check out this price action. When we hit these highs and we start these bear rallies, look at the first one. SPY is at all-time highs. It comes crashing down. And then we retest this blue line. Right? We actually broke above it two times before coming back down. This is the 20 moving average. Look at this. We come down to 404. We retest it exactly. Then we come down again. We eventually break above it, forming the second rally. This was actually the run-up in March. We come crashing down to 430. Then what happens? We see a big relief bounce to 444. And this is where we retest the 20 moving average before the next big crash. And then finally, we can actually fast forward to about August. This was the next major rally we saw on SPY. Big rally. We come down. We actually come down to 408. We retest the 20 moving average. See how close we came to it, a little bit above it. Then we came crashing down again. Then after the second crash, what do we do? We push up, we push up, and look at the blue line. We retest the blue line. We just push a little bit above it, then another big rejection. So very interesting to see, guys. Very, very interesting. And then we continue to come down. Another push up. We retest the blue line again. This is the third time, and we get rejected. So it's acting as resistance, or it's very similar to that. Then we hit our bottom. This is the lowest we ever saw SPY this year, 346. Big reversal, big bounce. We push above the 20 moving average, the blue line. Then we crash down again. And it's looking like if we continue pushing, we're going to see a retest of the blue line. That's going to take us very close to 390. All right? So I believe by next week, by the end of next week, SPY is going to hit that 390. That's my belief. or come very close to it, maybe a little above or a little below for another big rejection. What does this mean? This means that the market, if we look at Tesla, Tesla is going to continue pushing up most likely. I could see this thing actually approaching this, let me see, 128 to 130 level very soon. Do I think it's going to last forever? No, but I do believe this thing wants to bounce and we're gaining lots of attention, lots of momentum, lots of buyers. Nice volume too on Tesla. All right, with Tesla starting to pump, with SPY potentially pumping up a little bit more, especially going into next week, do I think NEO is just going to crash? The answer is, it depends on the news. As long as there's not like any bad news, it, it definitely could continue to push up. But we also have to watch for the deliveries report. Uh, tomorrow is going to be the last trading day until the report comes out, until 2023 starts, and until we see the next big catalysts so yes if we just ignore that and we just look at this from a technical standpoint spy pushing up tesla pushing up i believe neo is going to see a nice momentum and start pushing up to go for this gap fill i'm going to be watching almost 11 dollars on this thing it could even go a little higher so watch this very carefully we have another gap around the it's very close to that 11.3 zone i think neo is going to head for 11 dollars over the next week so I am a little bit more bullish. We have a inverse head and shoulders like setup. It looks like it wants to continue pushing for tomorrow specifically. I want to see this thing break and hold ten dollars. I want to see it close around ten point two five at the very very least. So that's what I want to see for Neo. I do believe it could go for this gap fill. It loves to fill gaps. That's the zone I'm going to be watching for for the next week. Let's see if Neo could get back to eleven. But I do believe there's going to be a temporary rally. Is it going to last forever? No, I just said it's temporary, okay? But I, I do think Neo has some potential for a small push to the upside as long as things are okay. It's also going to depend on deliveries. If Neo beats on deliveries, this thing will easily push back to 11, maybe even go higher. So watch Neo carefully. That's basically what I have for this video. Thank you all so much for listening. Have a great rest of the day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Neo to the moon because the long-term future is still incredibly bright. And peace out.